As long as you are going to be in the public's eye, you have to maintain perfect physical shape. I mean, look, Sylvester Stallone is a legend, but he's never been so ripped as he was in Rocky Three. Apparently, he was 2.8, 2.9, yeah, around about that percent. Killing it. If I know a scene's coming up, uh, let's say a scene that's going to be not very physical, but extremely dramatic, mm -hmm. and I have to be uh, cutting edge anger. Ferocious. Well, there's nothing that puts one in a bad mood to being hungry. You know what I mean? In the description right now, I'm going to put his workout. He went in with just every single exercise. And if I list every single one now, you'd be like, yeah, great video. Dislike. So it's there. You want to check it out? You want to see what he did? It's everything. It's in the description. If I know there's a action scene coming up, I'll start eating, like, say, French toast, pancakes, anything that has a great deal of starch, hmm. pasta, whatever, oatmeal. Big oatmeal is one of my main. Then I have a lot of energy. I feel extremely bulky and I, powerful, you might say. Have you checked out the description yet? The least you could do is check out the description. I wrote down every single exercise. It took time. And if you're thinking, how did he do so many? Of course, he did two days. He did two workouts a day. Six days a week to get ripped for Rocky. Let's get into that diet. It was eggs, chicken, greens, French toast, pancakes, oatmeal, and starches. But when he wanted to get real ripped for Rocky, he dropped the calories down low. Lower than you think. 1,100 calories a day. 1,100 calories after three days. There's a certain look in your eye that don't mess with me. It's a gauntness. Talking about his diet, he said he'd have very small portions of oatmeal cookies made with brown rice and up to 25 cups of coffee a day with honey and just a couple, just a couple of scoops of tuna. Let's not go mad. 1,100 calories doesn't make you powerful, but it does give you that horrible kind if of I... veneer. One diet he refers to as the gnarly diet. It, it is, it's gnarly, no doubt about it. The gnarly diet looks like this. <laughs> One protein meal in the morning, oatmeal, three to five eggs without yolks, just keep that fat down, and two protein shakes at just 225 calories each. Hence his cheat days were insane. Oh, Sylvester knows how to cheat. If it was Saturday night, I could deal with it. Because I knew, because usually I cut off Saturday and Sunday is a freebie. Monday to Friday is, I'm, I'm like uh, in the army. But the weekend, because you have to have a, you have to have a release. Otherwise you would blow up, you, you'd go, you would self emoliate you'd kill yourself, you have to have some, something to look forward to. I remember Mr. T and I, when we were doing uh, um, Rocky Three, we got down to like 2.8, 3% body fat. And we looked for the, for the weekend. At the end of the weekend, we always have vanilla ice cream. I keep saying, but we start Monday. Is ice cream there, ice cream there, ice cream there? Yes, sorry, is ice cream? And we start to salivate. By Friday, we'd run in there and the guy brought mint green. And Mr. T and I literally took the guy and put him in the freezer. We tried to shove him into a motorhome freezer, which is this big, because you look forward to it so much, I couldn't believe it. And this came mint, jelly, cocoa, stone, whatever it was. It was horrible. So, but anyway, that's this kind of rhythm or this kind of method that I've adhered to for years. So his cheat days were cheat weekends, right? He let himself go at the weekend. His cheat weekends became cheat weekdays and weekends when he got the belly for Copland. At one time it was 41, but the average like 36, 37. In the beginning, it got very large, but toward the end, when fatigue was first started to diminish a little bit, I couldn't eat anymore. You know, in the beginning, I, I, mean, I felt very, very, um, I don't know, uh, distracted and, and kind of like embarrassed. I really did, it was a shock to me. And then I thought, this is all vanity, this is true narcissism, and it, until I can understand this and live with myself, I really can't play this character, and I can't be like a normal human being. I said, the way I was before is really abnormal, and the way I am as Freddy is much more of a normal way of life. So I just had to get my priorities straight. I hadn't come to terms with it and that was totally wrong. And I had, you know, I was still holding on to a kind of um, ingrained vanity that had acquired, I, had, I had acquired over the years. It wasn't until finally I said, this is me and I feel comfortable and I can go out in a tank top looking, you know, like one of my relatives. I uh, I finally had come to full circle, but it took a while. You know what, Jimmy? I never felt actually better than when doing that. Hey, hit me up in the comments real quick. Sylvester Stallone, natty or not? No, that's not the question. The question is, best action star of the 70s? Yeah, Rocky came out of the 70s. 70s, 80s, and 90s. Let me know your thoughts right now. You want more videos? Oh, you better be tapping away all over the screen right now. Subscribe, comment, and like. We keep the videos coming, and there's a few on the screen ready to go right now.